What's going on YouTube? Good call six here. Back with another video, obviously. Um, if you even recognize me, yeah, had to clean up, so I was getting a little out of control. But uh, got a few things to show. Uh, a couple set pickups, a couple PC pickups, and then Brad. I made a purchase off him, and he completely destroyed me uh, with PC hookups. So um, we'll get right into it. Uh, three pickups for the hockey set. Uh, this one was actually Redemption, but they're live now. Uh, this is Devin Dubnik. Might need to do an upgrade on this one. This guy's actually playing pretty good. I was watching the game uh, of his the other night and talking about what he's been doing the last 15 or so games. I think he's only lost three games, so he's actually kind of doing pretty good, even though I've never heard of the guy. But, uh, yeah, there's that one. Uh, this one came in yesterday. Um, one of the cheaper ones, Bobby Ryan. Nice three color in the middle. Get that rainbow foliage on it. And lastly, an old schooler. I don't know how old school, but um, I don't think he plays anymore. Probably retired, but a Cam Neely. This is probably the, one of the weakest ones that I have in the set, so there might be a possibly upgrade on this one, but for now I will take it, especially for the price I got it. So uh, those are the three cards for the set. I don't have any on the way. Uh, I think I have 21 out of the 34. Uh, like I said, it's probably going to start slowing down because the there's a few big boys left, so um, they aren't popping up very much either. So I think I got three three cards of ten left, and then the rest are forty to sixty, seventy dollars a piece. So that one's gonna slow down. I got this in this one in. I already have one of these, but um, these cards are awesome looking, and there's no way I was gonna pass this up for the price I got it for. So a Mike Evans Pulsar Refractor from Topps Platinum. It's freaking insane, his prices compared to Odell Beckham's. I mean, I know Odell Beckham had a pretty solid year this year. Um, Mike Evans did too. Odell Beckham deserved Rookie of the Year, but he had Eli Manning. This guy had Josh McCown. No offense, Dave. But, uh, yeah, I just think overall Odell Beckham's prices are just insanely hyped. Um, his card of this sells for... I saw it anywhere from $85 to $300. I picked this up for $25. Um, I mean, it's awesome for me to, to pick up stuff like that cheap um, of a solid player that had a really good year. I just don't see the prices of Odell Beckham's and what people are thinking. Like, There's no room for him to go up, I guess, considering what is the sum of his prices are. It just, it just blows my mind how expensive this stuff is. Um, but enough of that. Uh, kind of had to vent a little bit just because of that price, but um, this is an awesome pickup. I, ha I haven't seen these pop up very often. I believe these were one in seven hundred and something packs back in the day, but um, this is out of nineteen ninety eight Skybox EX two thousand one uh, Warwick Dunn Destination Honolulu die cut uh, PSA Gem Mint ten. This is the only PSA card I have in my collection right now. So um, yeah, this is a pop one. I don't, it's kind of weird because there's white showing on the back corners, but uh, it's slab to 10, so I'll take it. But uh, nice, rare work done pickup there. So happy to pull that thing in. Um, and now on to Brad. Uh, as you guys saw, he opened up two boxes of Immaculate uh, and hit a couple of nice Buccaneers cards and also a pretty sweet Emmett Smith. So um, contacted him, real easy, made a purchase. I uh, said, hey, Matt, thank you for the purchase. I know these cards are going to a good home. I also threw in some extra Buccaneer stuff I had laying around. Yeah, yeah, you did. I uh, hope you enjoy. Brad8671. So, Brad, thank you so much for the extras. You didn't have to do it. Uh, he completely destroyed me on these extras. I I assume just base cards, which is awesome. Um, but he overdid himself and threw in a shit ton of extras. So, um, thank you so much, man. I'm definitely going to have to hit you back. Um, so we'll get right into it. Uh, first is a uh, Mike Glennon Topps Chrome Retro. Uh, this is one of the canvas cards. A pretty cool card actually. Uh, Mike Evans didn't have this card. I didn't have half of these cards. Actually, probably ninety percent of these cards uh, didn't have this one either. Uh, canvas collection of ASJ. These cards are awesome. These were in Pro Unis. This set would be bomb. Uh, this is out of SP Authentic, I believe, the SP, or Super FX. They have autoed versions of these two. They're awesome looking. Uh, next is a base, Mike Evans Chrome, or Topps Print, or, what the hell's going on? Topps 
Finest. Uh, another Topps Finest X Fractor of ASJ. A Atomic Finest Atomic die cut of ASJ at a Finest. Uh, really sweet uh, Robert Heron. I don't know what this one's called. I don't think it's numbered, but um, it's like red and gold with the Panini logo on the side. I'm not sure what they call it, but this one. This one's really cool. A blue refractor out of Finest of Robert Heron. 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 I uh, didn't have this one. This is out of Supreme. I don't know if it's a rookie. No, nope, not a rookie. Uh, just a base out of 170. Didn't have that one. And now on to the things that he completely destroyed me with. Um, a Topps Finest Charles Sims jersey autograph. Which I did not have. So thank you very much. A contender's playoff ticket to 99 of Charles Sims, which I did not have. So thank you very much. Oh, yeah, there's still more. A, I think this is pink or red, three color patch auto out of Top's Finest of ASJ, which I did not have. So thank you very much. Uh, and lastly, oh, I was freaking out when I saw this card. Um, he's not a big name guy, but I like him. Um, this is Robert Heron, Heron, however the hell you want to call it. Uh, the Bowman Chrome, the Red Refractor 225. Take it out of this. Yeah, I was freaking out when I saw this thing. Red Refractage out of Bowman Chrome. Like the design of Bowman Chrome. Wish these were on card, but um, awesome design, awesome card. So, Brad, thank you very much for these extras. Like I said, you did not have to send them. Um, and now we're on to the two pickups that I made from him, which I'm also stoked as hell about. Um, gave me an awesome deal on these. Like, I just love the look of these cards. Uh, Immaculate. Uh, this is the acetate version jersey patch of Warwick Dunn out of 28. Nice rainbow foliage there. Nice pop to these. There's some some questionable cards in this in this uh, set, but. Uh, for the most part, awesome looking design. Um, I got a couple nice ones coming in, so you'll see that in my next video, hopefully. Uh, now to the big boy that I made the purchase off of Brad. This is uh, limited or premier patches of 21 out of 49. Bam. Dougie Martin. Four color, tons of breaks. Sick, sick patch. Probably one of the sickest patches I have in my collection besides the logo patches. Um, on card auto. No streaks in it, which is pretty damn good for a Doug Martin auto nowadays, it seems like. Out of 49. So yeah, that is a badass card. And an awesome addition to the Dougie PC. Brad, can't thank you enough. Thanks again, man. Uh, so stoked to get all these. Like I said, didn't have probably 90% of them. So yeah, that's all I have. Like I said, not much in this one. Sweet and short. Um, have a few nice things, like I said, coming in. So hopefully we'll get those in my next video. Yeah, other than that, <clears throat> hope everyone's doing good. And this weather needs to make up its mind because a week ago it was 65 degrees and now it's negative 15 with the wind chill. So uh, just ready to get outside and start doing some things. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're all doing good. I'll see you later.